What's up, Orange Theory Westland? Coach Alexa here. I'm here to talk to you about post-recovery nutrition shakes. I've had a couple people request that I demonstrate on the YouTube channel what we talked about in nutrition class because they are unable to make the meetings. And so what we discussed at the meetings is that after workout recovery shakes are critical uh, to whatever your goal is, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, or increasing lean muscle mass, it will help all of those things. The reason why is because when you work out as hard as you do at OTF, your body needs fuel immediately after. The opportune window is 20 to 30 minutes. After that, you kind of miss the, the window. If you don't get anything in there, like the right nutrients, your body will take from the muscles, and so it'll take the proteins rather than from your muscles rather than building into your muscles. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have a healthy protein, we're gonna have a healthy carb, we're gonna have a healthy fat, and some extra spices to help increase metabolism. And when I say increase metabolism, that makes that means making your metabolism quicker and the efficiency of which you digest is better and then it distributes to your muscles better as well. So, something that has worked for me is this Vega Sports Protein drink. Um, sometimes the sports are unavailable, but I like the plant-based proteins just because it, the lactose and the whey mess with my system weird. It's going to be a trial and error for you, so you have to find what works best for you, but I have found the vanilla and chocolate of Vega Sports Protein has really helped me and what I'm trying to do. Um, but again, try it out. Another favorite is called Superfoods, so check it out at Walmart, Costco, New Seasons, or Market of Choice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk you through kind of what I do. Um, you do not have to do this, but I kind of mix my liquids. I first put in blueberries. The reason why I put blueberries in is because they're super high in ant antioxidants, and they also are a slow-releasing carb. I also put in one cup of green tea. The reason why I put in green tea is because it also increases your metabolism. You can just put in almond milk if you would prefer, preferably unsweetened. If not, then you can try my way of a little bit of green tea in there as well. All right. So then I'm going to put in a scoop of protein powder. And I usually make mine the night before because I don't have time during the day to do this. So I'll do this the night before. And sometimes I have, I will make two if I know that my mornings will be super busy. One for Monday and one for Tuesday. Now I'm adding cayenne pepper. This is again optional. Cayenne pepper is another thing that increases your metabolism. I'm also going to add some shakes of cinnamon. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how much to put in there because everybody's taste is different. So it's going to be up to you to trial and error how this all is. If you like your shakes thicker, then I would not add as much liquid. If you like them th uh, thinner, add more liquid. I'm also adding ginger. That's another metaboli metabolizer. And then black pepper also helps increase your metabolism. So then, last but not least, I'm going to add one tablespoon of crunchy sun butter. That is my favorite. You can also add almond butter in there, too. So I'm just going to pour that right in there, and then I'm going to blend it all together. Another little secret that I do is I'm a chocolate girl, so I will add 100% unsweetened cocoa in it as well. Just a couple little small spoonfuls in there. I do about two. Now I'm going to blend it all together. Here, where's my lid? See, I'm not a perfect person. I am trying to figure it all out as well. We're all in the same boat together. Alright, so after I've blended it all together, I typically pour it into a mason jar or a shaker, whatever you have, and I'll put it in the fridge overnight. So that's typically my shake. Now, also people were asking about what if I don't like shakes? Well, I prefer that you use shakes because liquid is more easily and readily absorbed by the digestive system. So I would hope that you could do that. 
if you can't, um, and you, it makes your stomach feel funny, another suggestion that I would do is I would get one or two corn tortillas, depending on what your um, goals are, and you can get these really cheap. And for me, as a woman, I would scramble two eggs, um, men I would do three, and I would just put scramble the eggs, put them in this corn tortilla, and maybe a little bit of spinach and onion. Onions have a ton of antioxidants or high in vitamin C. Spinach deliver a lot of vitamins, good minerals. Also give it some more flavor. And another thing that I like to do too is add some homemade salsa. Uh, my homemade salsa consists of tomatoes, serrano peppers, and ground up cilantro. That way I kind of get a full mix of everything. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would do. Like I said, I prefer liquid because it is more readily absorbed in the system. But again, it's trial and error, whatever works best for you. All right.